The family of Emily Rogers say they will lay the young mother to rest in Texas next Monday. Her body was found in St. Francis last week. Her ex-boyfriend, Nicholas Matson was charged yesterday with strangling her to death. And as Fox 6's Bill Mistino explains, it's not the first time he's been accused of a similar crime. This case has allegations that the defendant strangled his child's mother to death and then cold-heartedly hid her body. Nicholas Madsen shook his head as prosecutors detailed the charges against him on Wednesday. Accused of killing his ex-girlfriend, 23-year-old Emily Rogers, as she was breaking up with him. Prosecutors say Madsen has a lengthy unreported or underreported history of domestic violence. This does include a 2020 case that was dismissed in arson of property with the same victim. In that case, prosecutors said Matson's mom called Rogers to come to this Cudahy home to check on Matson, who wasn't waking up. Documents say when Rogers got there, he began yelling at her and tried to choke her, but was unable to. She packed up some things and left. Rogers told investigators she later got angry messages from Matson and photos of him burning her belongings in the garage. Matson was charged with arson, disorderly conduct, along with domestic abuse assessments, and a no contact order was put in place. But a judge dismissed the case with prejudice last fall after Matson's attorney argued the state delayed in bringing it to trial as Matson was already in a state prison at the time. Matson served time in the Department of Corrections after he pleaded guilty to shooting and wounding a man in Cudahy back in 2010. Filings say he met a friend in a parking lot near Clement in Norwich in Milwaukee to ditch the gun. Nearly 12 years later, another friend would lead police to a wooded area several hundred feet away where Roger's body was found. Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Thank you, Bill. Matson is being held on $500,000 bond. He is due back in court next week.